we have two quantities, x and y, which we will represent as the legs of this right triangle. And we want to ask the question, how does one of those quantities change when we tweak the other quantity? Now, we're going to do this in two different ways. Way number one, we will increase the size of the triangle, but keep all of the proportions, all of the angles the same. So we're just, we're just blowing it up, we're, okay? We're going to enlarge it. And uh, because the proportions all stay the same, we can express the proportion y over x, the slope of the triangle, as three quarters. We are going to focus on tweaking x. When we're focusing on one quantity like that, we like to keep it to the right side of the equation and put the other quantity on the left. So the right side of the equation is the one that we're twiggling with and then we say what happens on the left. So in this case, we're going to say that y equals three quarters of x. We could also say that y is linearly dependent on x. I think people watch this channel hoping that I'll say linearly. So if you like it, thumbs up. We're going to nudge up x by an amount dx. And this will necessarily entail an increase to y by the amount dy. Now, you'll notice that since the big triangle is just a scaled version of the little triangle, we have another even littler triangle inside here with the sides dy and dx. Now, we don't even need to measure those because I said the proportions are all the same. So we can say that dy divided by dx, in this case, is going to be 3 quarters. Now, we won't call it dy divided by dx because when we're dealing with infinitesimal amounts, I, that, it starts, that starts to get picky. So let's just call it dy by dx. We can take a look at what uh, Thompson says about nomenclature. We call the ratio dy by dx the differential coefficient of y with respect to x. It is a solemn scientific name for this very simple thing. But we are not going to be frightened by solemn names when the things themselves are so easy. Instead of being frightened, we will simply pronounce a brief curse on the stupidity of giving long crack jaw names and having relieved our minds, we will go on to the simple thing itself, namely the ratio dy by dx. See, these quantities, dy and dx, we call them differentials. And so you can learn that word if you want to impress some mathematicians or your friend who's a car mechanic. Let's get back to the triangle. That ratio dy by dx, in this example, it's always going to be three quarters. And so we would say that that's the derivative of y with respect to x, and that's it. Okay? Ta-da! You took your first derivative. All right. But now we're going to now we're going to relate these quantities in a different way. In this case, and this is why calculus students have a fear of ladders because textbooks are always having ladders up against walls and then sliding down. Okay? We've got a right triangle. And we'll say the hypotenuse is the ladder, and it has it's the th it's the only thing that's going to stay constant in this story. Okay, the ladder length, and the ladder is sliding down. But again, yeah, x is the horizontal, and y is how high up it goes. So imagine that we're I guess we're we're tugging at the at the bottom of the ladder, and so now when x gets bigger, y gets smaller, and there isn't a constant proportion connection between x and y. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we can relate them through Pythagoras and just say that x squared plus y squared is the square of the length of the ladder. We have another fancy term for this type of equation as well, because x and y are all together, are both together on the same side. 
Um, so we say that uh, it's, it's an implicit function. We're not showing our hand as to which variable we're tweaking and which one we're checking. Okay? But we could rewrite this as y equals the square root of the square of the latter minus the square of x, and that now we're being explicit. Okay, we've tipped our hand, we're saying we're going to tweak x and see what happens to y. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So what happens when we make x just a little bit larger? Okay, when, when dx goes up, dy goes down. In this case, we will find two examples. So first of all, what if we increase x by an amount of 0.1? What happens to y? So in this case, we have a calculated value for dy by dx, okay? But now let's try something else. Now let's increase the value of x by a smaller amount. We'll increase it by 0 0.05, so half that. What happens to y? Now our new dy by dx is a little bit different. We need to dig into this deeper, which we will do uh, in further chapters. This elusive ratio, dy by dx, this is what we are after generally in games like this. By what diminishingly small amount will y change when we adjust x by a diminishingly small amount? That is the question. There's some more exciting viewing for you. Thanks for watching. Bob's your uncle, and cheers.